Okay, so welcome back my friends to what is gonna be a beautiful day of uploads here on the YouTube channel It is Sunday. I hope you have all had an amazing weekend. I hope you're all safe healthy and We are gonna be giving away some gold passes today. So I promised I will be giving away five gold passes Today here on the YouTube channel in the next video we upload to the channel now, the best way for you to win a gold pass is to make sure those notifications are turned on. So if you are new around here, make sure you click that big fat juicy red subscribe button just below the video guys and make sure you turn on notifications so you will be notified as soon as we upload a video and you're going to have the best chance of getting yourself a gold pass and unlocking the Clockwork King and all the other cool prizes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That second video is going to be coming in a couple of hours time. Before we do anything guys, let's get ourselves into today's first upload. And I have got a big problem with Supercell, which we're going to be showing you in a second. Before we do anything, guys, I need help. We've got 30 million elixir. I think we've got like another million in the collectors. And if we go over... Into the magic items, we've got a root of elixir, which means we've got like 50 million elixir. So I need you, my subs, to let me know down below in that comment section, if you were me, what would you upgrade with your elixir? Which one of these troop upgrades should we do? Let me know down below in that comment section. And should we also upgrade the Grand Warden, even though the King's upgrading, two heroes upgrading at the same time? Might be a bit of a problem, I'm not really too sure, but let me know down below what should we do with all the elixir. All that being said, let's get ourselves into today's episode, guys. So ch take a look at this. Yesterday, we actually started a new clan war season. And for some reason, Supercell has been really unfair, guys. We have got so many Town Hall 10s on our, uh, on our team, and they've paired us up with Town Hall level 12s. Not even Town Hall 11s. Literally, Town Hall level 12s, and if you take a look at the top, guys, we are getting absolutely crushed. 36 to 71 stars, that's not even fair. We are getting so wrecked, it is insane. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and pull some stars back this episode. I've got two attacks to do on my two accounts. Um, we are going to be using a power potion to get max level troops for this account, and we're going to try and triple star one of these town hall level 13 bases so hopefully it's gonna go well make sure you drop a like on the video if you made it this far into the episode and want to win a gold pass let's go into our magic items and let's use a power potion guys that's gonna give me max troops for the next hour which is amazing we've also got balloons and a dragon inside of our clan castle the only thing is we don't have a king so the king is down, he is upgrading, which kind of sucks, but there's nothing we can really do about that, apart from maybe buy this book of heroes, but I'm not really too sure. We're going to leave that for now, so let's get ourselves into a live attack, guys. We're going to choose an opponent. I don't actually know which one to go for, so let's start scouting. Where am I? I am number 11. Okay, let's scout number 14. Kind of makes sense, because no one's actually hit him yet. Looks like a decent base, guys, but they do have level 70 heroes, which is real scary. King's actually level 66. And this is the strategy we've got in our army camps. Let's see if we've got a hero potion. That could be really useful. Do we have one? No, we don't. Okay, so it's going to be what we've got right now. Max level troops. I suppose that's not too bad. Let's come up with a strategy, guys. And let's see what we can do against number 14. This is going to be fun. This is definitely going to be fun. So it's a bit of a ring base. We've got four earthquake spells. I think we're probably going to use them on this section to pull all the heroes and troops into the center. And I'm going to try and funnel using the wall breakers and my super queen walk. Probably this side of the base down the bottom, guys, where there are no heroes because my queen is only level 42 and his queen is level 70 so i can't go anywhere near the queen once this side of the base is funneled we'll get the rest of the troops to enter probably with a war wrecker and we'll try and get into the core of the base guys and we'll try to take it down 
Actually, we don't have a War Wrecker. We've only got a Siege Barrack. So, fingers crossed this is going to work. Hopefully, we can pull back some of the stars. Let's get ourselves into this attack, guys. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to switch to a Siege Barracks. We are going to start off with... I'm going to start off with a Baby Dragon to funnel. I'm going to get the Queen in. Oh, damn. She's already in a bit of trouble. I'm going to get one Giant down, guys. Oh, damn. Giant Big Bomb's going to explode. Wow. Okay. That's instantly a bad start. We're going to have to change up the strategy already. We're just going to switch it up, guys. I'm going to drop the Siege Barracks in there. I'm actually going to rage up the Queen really early. The Earthquake spells didn't really even break those walls, which kind of sucks. But the Giants should be able to break through, guys, as they're getting killed. We're going to drop in the Yetis just behind as well. And we're going to come in with a Royal Champion. Giants are about to break through. Here we go. Come on, Giants. You can do it, boys. They're going to break through. There we go, guys. And we're now going to come into the base. Okay. Let's drop a free spell down on that scatter shot. Let's drop a rage into the core. And let's see where we go from here, guys. We've already lost the real champion. This really isn't, isn't fair. This is what I call the definition of an unfair attack, guys. Because they're just too good for us. I mean, this dude is literally way below me in levels, but he's got level 70 heroes. How am I meant to take this on when I've only got level 40 heroes? It's just so unfair. Supercell is really messed up, guys. Can we at least get a one star? That would be cool. If we could at least one star this base, I suppose that would make it a little bit more fair. We've got balloons and yetis taking us past that first star, guys. Somehow... I've actually still got the defending queen alive, which is incredible. Sorry, the attacking queen. Kind of incredible that she still managed to make it this far, guys. But it looks like she's probably going to go down to the last lava pup. Wow. Now all we've got is a couple of wizards. And it is the end of the road, guys. 61%. That is pretty damn, pretty damn poor. I'm not going to lie. Pretty damn poor indeed. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention something at the start of the episode. We are back in my old clan, YouTube General. Now, if you do want to join, feel free, guys. I made this clan on the 4th of February 2015. So this clan is more than five years old, which is crazy. It was actually abandoned for like over a year. But now we're back. My, uh, my second account is inside of it, guys. So there is a total of 46 players right now. The clan hashtag is under the, the, under the name YouTube General. Hashtag PQ9VGP9P. That is the hashtag. Make sure you come and join, guys, if you would love to. And uh, let's quick train up another army. I'm going to go for that one there, guys. We only need a single star to grab ourselves a star bonus. We've got a couple of builders coming back in the next two days, guys. So we do need to get a move on now. I've actually got a triple expo upgrading. I need to max out the gold storages again. So what we're going to do, we are going to get ourselves into some live attacks. We're going to grab the star bonus and we're going to start farming up like crazy. Okay, wow. 600,000 gold. That's amazing, guys. We don't actually need Elixir, of course, because I'm already maxed out. So we don't really need to care about how much Elixir we've got inside of these raids. We're going to come in with the Wall Breakers right there on the corner. And I'm going to get the Baby Dragon to start the funnel. Siege Brags on the other side. Let's see if we can actually get a two-star on this base, guys, without using any heroes at all. Don't forget, we do have a Power Potion active. So we really... Should be able to at least one star these bases. No problem at all. In fact, I'm expecting two stars. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Max level troops coming into the base. This is definitely going to be fun. We'll go with another free spell down on the eagle artillery, guys. Up to 27%. We've got yetis and giants into the core now. Here we go. The town hall is going to activate. Can two Yetis take out a Town Hall 13? Let's find out. It looks like they're going to be able to do it. The last one's going to pop. Here we go, guys. Yo, we got it. Damn, that was close. 
41%. I thought we were going to get a two star, but obviously it's only a one star today. Definitely going to wait for the rest of those heroes to regenerate, guys. But there it is. We got 400 plus 150,000 more from the bonus. And we got the star bonus we were after. So let's add that to our storages. Taking us to just under 4 million gold. So we're probably going to do a double upload on this account today, guys. And I'll probably do another video on my main village later on today. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and send a message to Supercell, guys. That is definitely unfair. And there is no way we could ever win a war where you've got Town Hall 10s taking on Town Hall 12s. That's just not fair at all, guys. So, um, hopefully Supercell fixes it. Who knows?